series number two. So this time it's The Hate You Give series by Angie Thomas. Now I'm going to start this review off by saying clearly I am white. And most of this, most of both of these books deal a lot with racial tension, particularly in the US. Now I come from Australia where I would like to think it's not that bad, but we also have a national holiday that is the day that the indigenous people were literally massacred. So no one's perfect. No one's very good either at this. So, you know, content warning of, you know, microaggressions, macroaggressions, and literal death. So, Concrete Rose and The Hate You Give, I really enjoyed just as both pieces of literature and pieces of literature commenting on the current political climate and the uh, horrific way that black people are treated. There's, there's no way of sugarcoating that one. <laughs> the, the books really, you know, hit me hard because I didn't realise a lot of this being a white person and I really wish I'd read them sooner. Now, I found these really educational. I went and I asked, you know, some people of colour, just some generic, hey, yo, I read this in a book. Is this actually true? I did my own research as well, because, you know, Google's free, that time is not. And a lot of the things that really surprised me were actually true. Uh, American, African-American variant English, AAVE, is very, very unique in itself. And both these books are written in that. So it can be a little bit to hard to understand sometimes, especially if you're not, you know, acclimatized to people speaking that way, which I really am not. But, you know, just aside from the fabulous takes it has on color characters, what it's like growing up for stars, example, she goes to a, you know, mostly white high school and for her father as example in Concrete Rose because that book's about him and his life growing up. What it's like on the streets and what it's like within gangs. And so clearly being, you know, having lived the feminine high school experience, I related to and understood more of the hate you give as opposed to Concrete Rose. But it's no matter what, they're really impactful books. I would give these to a mature child, but the themes are particularly dark. The Hate You Give blurb discusses the fact that Star actually witnesses a drive-by shooting of one of her friends, and Concrete Rose is, you know, essentially what it's like within a street gang. So... They're, they're heavy books, but they're done really well. They address a lot of stereotypes. And one of my favorite ones is, it's a favorite examples and how it is dealt with, is when some of the white girls at Star School make a comment while playing basketball, run like you're going after fried chicken. And Star turns around and goes, no, that is unacceptable, that is racist, don't do that. And you get to see the unfortunate fallout of how racist people react to being called out, even at a young age, when everybody knows racism is bad, <laughs> but still microaggressions and stuff like that can be gotten away with. Anyway, this was one of the books, so The Hate You Give specifically, was one of the books that scored a flat 10 out of 10 for me. I adored every single second of it, I blitzed through it. Concrete Rose was a little bit harder because I didn't understand as much. And because there was such a large gap between me reading 1 and 2, or 1 and 0.5, that I had to relearn how to, you know, comprehend AAVE again which made it a little bit clunky. 
Either way, they both are incredible books and I couldn't recommend them more. Look, I'll see you next time. Bye.